family and friends gathered to bid a final farewell. The passing of anti-apartheid activist Selimotlana has been described as a loss to the country. She was remembered as one of the people who were instrumental in the fight for democracy. Paying tribute, former President Tabombeke described her as one in a million. We meet here today to say farewell to one who I am absolutely certain, never doubted, that her name would be there on the day of the roll call. Regardless of who it was who would be present to listen to the roll call, our very dear Mr. Salimutlana, esteemed member of the Order of the Baobab. I say this about her not because she was an arrogant person, but because she was both an honest and a humble person who knew what she had done, would have felt pain if she had not done what she should have done to take our people even one step forward towards their liberation and fulfillment. A lifelong activist, Motlana joined the ANC Youth League in 1946. She was a teacher amongst others, but left the profession along with other principled professionals after the introduction of Bantu education in 1953. Motlana began her activism in Sophia Town, where together with other young people, she was tasked with collecting the stones that were used to pelt buses during the bus boycott known as Azikwelwa. She served in different positions, including as the president of Black Housewives League and a leader of the Black Women's Federation. Becky believes she must have decried the increase in violence against women and children as revealed by the recent subs crime statistics. I can only imagine the intense pain and shame Memo Tlana must have felt as she listened to the police, to the police service announced that between the April June 2021 quarter and the April June 22 quarter, sexual offenses as a whole increased by 74.1 percent, rape by 72.4 sexual assault by 77.6%. This was an outstanding female leader of our people who sought to rebuild our nation by, among, th among other things, fighting dependency, especially among black women, for its corrosion of human agency, on one hand, and the lowering of dignity of the human being. And for her family, her passing is a tough pill to swallow. Mother. Yours was the journey of undoubted tribulations, overwhelming challenges, unbridled joy, severe pain, great accomplishment, and above all, a life fully lived. Yours was not a sprint, but a long uphill marathon, and as you broke the tape at the end, we raise our hands to applaud you and say a heartfelt farewell. Selim Motlana was also the widow of the late Dr. Ntato Motlana and together they are survived by four children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Ntlantla Khatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.